a company once worth just $364 billion in 2022 has just exploded to a $5 trillion valuation in 2025. That's a 14 times jump in just four years. But what happened in those four years? How did one chip maker outgrow Apple, Microsoft, and even Google combined? The answer lies in two letters, AI, and a company that built its empire on it, NVIDIA. History was made in October 2025. NVIDIA became the first company to cross a $5 trillion market cap. But what does that really mean? It means we've entered a new era, one where the world's most valuable companies don't sell phones, ads, or even software. They sell computing power, the fuel for artificial intelligence. So where did all this begin? Let's rewind to 1993. Three engineers, Jensen, Chris and Curtis founded NVIDIA. Their mission was simple, yet revolutionary, to make computers see, think, and even imagine. Back then, NVIDIA made graphic cards for gamers. The name NVIDIA came from NVIDIA, a Latin word for envy. And decades later, the world lived up to the name. For nearly 20 years, NVIDIA was just a gaming company. But here's the twist. The chips it built for gaming turned out to be perfect for artificial intelligence. But how? It's because the same math that is used to render video game graphics is also used to train the AI models. Once researchers discovered that, NVIDIA's destiny flipped overnight. It moved from powering games to powering the future of intelligence. Then came an unexpected storm. The global chip shortage of 2020 to 2022 Factories were shut down, cars couldn't be built, even iPhones were delayed. The world realized something very crucial. Chips aren't just a part of gadgets. They are the backbone of the entire digital economy. And at the center of that storm was NVIDIA. While competitors struggled to make the supply, NVIDIA doubled down on innovation. It invested billions in securing chip supply, redesigning architectures, and preparing for a new world a world powered by AI. So when the AI boom arrived in late 2022, NVIDIA was ready. ChatGPT, Midjourney, and every generative AI tool that you can name all needed one thing, massive computing power. And guess who had the world's best chips for it? NVIDIA. Its Blackwell chips became the gold standard of AI. Orders worth $500 billion poured in through 2026. And now, NVIDIA is already building the next leap, the Rubin. The Rubin architecture designed to make AI faster, smarter, and greener. But NVIDIA isn't just about chips anymore. It's building a complete AI ecosystem. Its software CUDA, Omniverse, and NIM now run inside every major data center on the Earth. NIM, for example, lets companies deploy AI model in seconds, making NVIDIA not just a chip maker, but the AI operating system of the world. It's the silent engine behind OpenAI, Meta, and even Google, training the world's smartest machines. In just 79 trading days, NVIDIA jumped from $4 trillion to $5 trillion. How? It was a perfect storm of exploding global chip demand multi-billion dollar supercomputer contracts, strategic partnerships with tech giants, and a 10 for 1 stock split that bought millions of new investors. Suddenly, NVIDIA wasn't just a supplier, it was a king maker in the global AI economy. But with great power comes great geopolitics. NVIDIA's chips are so advanced that they're treated as strategic assets. Everything was fine until the US government banned their export to China, forcing NVIDIA to build restricted versions like the A800, H20, just to stay in the market. Its chips now power everything from defense stimulation to national computing grids. That's not just tech, that's global leverage. Let's look at the scoreboard. In 2025, NVIDIA reported over $120 billion in revenue. 85% from data centers alone. 
profits were over $45 billion. It has returned about $24 billion to shareholders through buybacks and dividends. And its valuation now exceeds the GDP of Japan. This isn't just success, it's dominance. And the impact? Global. For India, NVIDIA's rise is a wake-up call. A reminder that the next trillion dollar opportunity lies in semiconductors. From the Make in India semiconductor mission to AI-focused startups, this milestone has sent ripples across the subcontinent. Because whoever controls the chips controls the future. But here is the question. Is this growth sustainable? Some call it an AI bubble, valuations racing ahead of reality. While others say it's just the beginning that AI will soon be as essential as electricity. While rivals like AMD and Grog are catching up, NVIDIA's ecosystem of chips, software and cloud partnerships still prevails. The only real challenge now is power. As AI models grow, so does the energy that they consume. NVIDIA's next mission is to build chips that are not just powerful, but sustainable. From a small gaming startup in 1993, to the world's first $5 trillion company, NVIDIA's journey is nothing short of legendary. Jensen Hong once said, AI is the new industrial revolution and NVIDIA is the factory. If AI is the brain of this century, then NVIDIA is the silicon heart powering it. This isn't just their $5 trillion moment. It's the dawn of new technological era one that's reshaping how the world thinks, creates, and evolves.